Jackson has killed a lot of men. A lot of them. Kansas Red. He's the only one who can stop Larson. So you're gonna help us or not? No one can get Larson. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2022 Western Desperate Riders, a film that is directed by Michael Pfeiffer and it stars Drew Waters, Vanessa Evigan, Sam Ashby, Victoria Pratt and Tom Berenger. Now the film essentially focuses on um, a family. Um, there is this band of outlaws, um, the leader of them um, essentially kills this ranch owner and kidnaps the three women at the ranch. Um, one of them is an ex-flame of his. Um, the son of one of the women abducted goes looking for Kansas Red, played by Drew Waters, who is a famed uh, like outlaw, I suppose, that once fought in the war who also has got a personal interest in finding um, these three women as well. So they ride off together in order to try and find these people that have abducted the women. Right, what are my thoughts on Desperate Riders? Well, um, I like a good Western. You know, I do like to review um, some Westerns here on the channel. Um, I do think there's a good a, a market out there for a decent quality Western. Um, and while this isn't going to set the world alight, you know, it's not massively high quality stuff, you know, it's not going to reinvigorate, um, you know, the, the Western genre or anything. This is a perfectly serviceable and watchable Western. Um, and fans of Westerns out there, you know, um, will probably have a decent enough time with it. Um, the production values are decent, even though it is a low budget um, Western, it does... When you watch it, it feels like they've reused locations for different scenes. It certainly seemed that way to me. They might not have done, but it felt like they did. Um, and, uh, you know, the actors all did a decent enough um, performance here. You know, you kind of believed them, and they were of a decent quality. Now, Tom Berenger, who is like one of the named actors here on the sleeve, um, he's only in it fairly briefly, but I have to say, I've always been a fan, a fan of Tom Berenger. Um, it's great to still see him get work. He's a good actor. I think he's an underrated actor. Um, but he, like I say, he's not in this uh, an awful lot, but where he does shine when he is in it. The the main star of the film here is, is Drew Waters, who plays this Kansas Red character. Um, and what I liked about him and his performance as Kansas Red was he wasn't like you know like the sometimes you'll watch a western and the cowboy feels like an invincible hero and he never gets shot and he, he, he aims perfectly and everyone dies straight away he's not like that actually you know yes he is he, tough as nails um, and he comes out of most gunfights on top but he gets a bit of a battering too he gets i think he gets shot two or three times in this film maybe more um, so, you know, he's actually quite a vulnerable character here in this film and you never actually feel like, you know, even though he's the main star and he's like the main heroic character here, that he's actually um, going to come out of this unscathed or even make it through at all. And in actual fact, while I, after, after the film, when I analysed the ending, um, I actually think it was actually a pretty interesting way to end the film. At the time, I felt a little bit like it was a damp squid. Um, because after all this chasing down throughout the movie, the ending that we get in regards to who, who confronts and finishes off the bad guys and stuff was just not what I expected at all. But it felt real and, and realistic sort of thing. Um, in regards to an ending and it was it was a reasonably brave choice so we've got here a pretty serviceable western now um, yes it, as I've mentioned it's low budget um, I thought the prop design and production design and the sets and all this kind of stuff were all of a decent standard but a couple of the buildings it looked like they had like modern guttering on and things like that um, and some of the outfits they were wearing um, I don't know, I mean, I, I don't know that much about the Old West other than watching movies and things like that. It, it just felt like some of the outfits were a bit costumey, uh, straight from the costume shop type of thing. But, you know, that could be just me nitpicking maybe a little bit. It just didn't feel uh, as grounded, really, in the costume side of things. 
Um, and some of the actors didn't necessarily look or feel comfortable in the personas that they were playing almost, uh, if that kind of makes sense. Um, and pacing wise, there's not a lot happens when you actually, again, once when I analyzed it, when the film ended, you know, I didn't massively dislike what I watched, but there wasn't an awful lot goes down. I mean, it's fairly slow paced stuff actually. Uh, with an occasional gunfight thrown in uh, for good measure. And honestly, the gunfights are pretty lacklustre. Um, they're not thrilling stuff. Uh, and like I say, it's a little bit of an anticlimax, the ending of the film. Uh, but, you know, again, it's one of those westerns that they could probably quite easily put on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon on Channel 5 in the UK, you know, and you could watch in the background. There's nothing massively overly violent about it i mean yes there's some good fights yes people die on screen but um there's not like rafts of blood everywhere it's not like you know massive bullet holes in heads and things like that it's pretty tame in comparison to a lot of westerns that i've seen and it does in actual fact feel very much like a tv movie um so uh, this is really and strictly just for hardcore western fans i would suggest uh if, if you're always on the lookout for a fresh new western to watch and you're not too bothered about you know really really top production values uh you could certainly do worse than this one i didn't massively dislike it but i had some issues with it so i'm going to be reasonably generous and give this one a five out of ten and that's only because it's not horrifically bad or anything uh, so let me know if you've seen this one. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts of it and are. And of course, guys, I'll be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.